So today's Icelandic adventure has brought me to this huge crater. And with any crater, it's really difficult to gauge the size of these. Even as I'm standing here or walking here in real life, it's difficult for me to process. So it must be very difficult through the camera. But to give you a little bit of our idea, there's a trail here that goes all the way around the rim and it is two miles. It's a two mile hike all the way around. So I don't know too much information about this. I know it was created about 2,500 years ago during an eruption when fissures opened up in the ground and when lava came in contact with a lake that was in this area and caused gigantic explosions which created this crater. Now I believe this is called a Tephra crater and it's supposed to be one of the biggest in the world of its kind. There's a number of these. Some of them are filled with water. This one happens to be completely dry. It has what they call a cinder cone at the very bottom, which I believe is about 600 feet tall, even though you would never ever get that. I mean, it, you, you can't even begin to imagine that it's actually that tall, but this is a pretty gigantic crater, so it's hard for your mind to accept that, I think. And of course, there's no parking lot, there's no road up here. You have to hike all the way up it, and it's just this rocky terrain, but it looks pretty cool with the colored vegetation down there. Nice contrast. You can actually see some cars off in the distance there, probably making their way over here. All around, in between those, the lake, in between the water, where you see the orange vegetation, that is all lava field. Apparently this was all lake when this was formed 2,300 years ago. And the, the lava poured down over the lake and the steam and the evaporation created these amazing texture of that lava. Pretty interesting. And as you can see, there are some rope barriers that designate where to go and where not to go. This is a protected area and it's a natural monument for Iceland. So I've hiked about three quarters of the way around it so far. And I wanted to show you the other side. Uh, for those of you who watched the video of uh, me at those geothermal sites with that horrible rotten egg smell, we're not too, too far away from that. So the wind is blowing it this way. You can actually smell it pretty badly here. But look at this land down at the bottom, almost like a scorched earth. It's just dead. But look at that not much not much to this land out here so this is what it looks like on the other side of the crater we were directly across the way here just a little while ago and it's a lot lower where we were but you can kind of see on the sides both sides they it's a steep incline up to uh, up to where we are so i ended up walking around the entire perimeter and uh, more of the same, although the scenery out, out here was much different. But uh, this is how you come up and down. It's just this crazy trail that goes all the way down to the parking lot. And that's where I'm headed now, down there and off to do something new, something else that's amazing in this incredible country. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.